Okay, in this video, our project is going to include the SCAMP 2 board, which you can see plugged into my breadboard. It has a PIC microcontroller on board, which you can see here, by microchip. And we're going to interface this board to a LoRa radio module. Now, the LoRa radio module that we're going to use is the E32915T20D from eBite. So the 915 in the part number means it runs on the 915 MHz ISM band. And the 20D means that RF output is 20 dBm, which is around 100 milliwatts. Now it runs on 3.3 volts, and it draws about 100 milliamps on transmit, and we're getting that off the voltage regulator, which you can see here on the SCAMP board. And the advertised range of this LoRa radio module is 3 kilometers, or about 1.8 miles, if we have visual line of sight. Okay, I have my SCAMP 2 board powered up through the USB connector, which is powering the LoRa radio module. I have some code running that's controlling the LoRa module. I also have a field strength meter powered up so we could actually monitor the RF output of the LoRa module. And I have a receiver on, on 915 megahertz, so we could actually hear the packet being sent. So if I type return, hit enter on my keyboard, you can see I'm sending a packet, and you can see the RF field strength meter picking that up, and you could hear it in the radio receiver. Now the code that's running is very simple, we'll go through it later. Whatever I type on the keyboard, say if I type hello world, that's put into a buffer, then when I hit return, hit enter, it sends that. So whatever I type on the keyboard, hit enter, it'll send that. So it's like a LoRa radio uh, typewriter, very simple. So if you have a SCAMP2 board, you can run this code, and you could hook up a LoRa radio module, then you could go wireless in your projects. Okay, I'm going to run a second program that's going to take the temperature sensor reading, which you can see from this temperature sensor on the, on the SCAMP2 board, and it's going to send that temperature reading to the LoRa radio, and it's going to transmit that temperature data every three seconds. So I'll activate that right now. So every three seconds, it's going to send the data. I'll turn on my field strength meter. So that's the temperature data being sent every three seconds. So that's another simple piece of code uh, you could experiment with with your SCAMP2 board and a LoRa radio module. Okay, when you get your LoRa radio modules, you will have to configure the UART baud rate and the over the air data rate to match the SCAMP2 board. And we could do that with free software from eBite. So I mount my LoRa radio on a breadboard together with an FTDI module which jumpered for 3.3 volts and I tie my TX and RX lines from the FTDI over to the LoRa radio modules TX RX lines and the output voltage from the voltage regulator on the FTDI module 3.3 volts will actually power the LoRa module because in program mode it draws very little current and the M0 and M1 pins, you can see the very first two pins are tied high. That puts it into program mode, so it won't transmit, and it will be in very low current mode. So you've got to make sure you do that when you, when you set it up for programming, as opposed to the SCAMP board, where the very first two pins, the M0 and M1, were grounded. You can see here they're grounded. It puts the, the lower module into normal mode, so it's into broadcast mode. But for programming, you have to ensure that the M0 and M1 pins are tied high, Put it into programming mode. Okay, I have my computer plugged into my FTDI module, which is connected to my LoRa radio module in programming mode. And I have the software running, it's called RF setting. So we could configure the LoRa radio module. So we'll select English and we'll go open port, get parameters, OK. So now it's read the LoRa radio module. So the UART rate will be 9600 bits per second, that's what we have our SCAMP2 set up for. Parity is 8N1. Over the air data rate is 1200 baud. Power output is 20 dBm. And we have our address set for 0 and our channel is 15 for 915 megahertz. So with this configuration all we have to do is hit set parameters and go OK and it's done. So now we could hook it up for our SCAMP and uh, we configure our other lower rated modules the same way so we could communicate. Now to receive the data sent by the SCAMP board and the LoRa radio module, on the receiving side you need another LoRa radio module configured the same way and all you need is an FTDI module 
Now there's no coding, there's no microcontroller. All you have to do is plug this into a computer, run TerraTerm, a serial terminal program, and you can, you can receive the data sent by the SCAMP in the lower module. Now this is the E34 module. This is a little bit different module, but the circuitry is the same. I have another video where I'm, I'm using the E34. So you could use the same schematic to hook up your lower radio module to be compatible with the SCAMP and the lower radio module E32. Okay, here's the code running on the SCAMP2 board, and it's written in Flashforth. Now the main program is called LoRa Type. I call it LoRa Type because it's like a typewriter over LoRa. It's only a few lines in length, it's pretty small. Now before we run LoRa Type, we have to do a bit of a setup. Now we're going to use UART2 in the SCAMP board, so we have to configure it to 9600 baud to match the baud rate of the LoRa module, so that's what we're doing right here, setting it to 9600 baud. Now the TX of UART2 we're going to assign to pin 10 on the SCAMP board. Now this word here, UART init, actually runs these two words. So we set up the baud rate to 9600 and we set up pin 10 on the SCAMP board for the UART output which is feeding the LoRa module. Next we create a buffer called buff and we give it 80 bytes. We allot 80 bytes to it and that's going to be the buffer where we enter our text to be sent over the LoRa radio module. Now in the very top two words, we're going to look into read direction. Now this is very powerful. Now the word emit is the fourth word, and it's a building block. And what it does, it sends text to the screen. Now we could redirect that to the UART, UART2, by running to LoRa. And that's going to redirect emit. It's going to vector emit to TX2. So all words that normally send text to the screen, now we'll send it out the UART when we run the word to LoRa. Now to console sends it back so everything is sent back to the console. Now all the words will act uh, normally. Now this is pretty powerful because we don't have to write new code for words to be sent to the UART. We just redirect it uh, to the UART using to LoRa. And we could see that in the main word LoRa type. So when we run LoRa type it's going to do a UART init. That's going to set up the baud rate to 9600 and pin 10 will be the output on the on the scamp. Then we go into a begin again loop. Now this is continuous. We do a carriage return for a new line. Then we take the buff or buffer address and and we're going to accept up to 80 bytes into the buffer. Now if less than 80 bytes if we hit the carriage return, but if we let it go all the way, it's going to take 80 bytes and then it's going to automatically come out. So we're going to enter our text into the buffer called buff and then it's going to take the buffer address and the count and now we're going to redirect it you see we, we're going to redirect it now type usually s types word to the console to the screen but now it's going to send what we what we put into the buffer through the lower module and then we're going to go back into the console and then we're going to go back to accept to take new uh, data from the keyboard okay I have TerraTerm up and running on my computer and it's connected to my SCAMP2 board, so I could run the program LoRa type. So I'll do that. Now when I hit enter on the keyboard, it's actually going to send a packet. You can hear it. So I'll put some text into the buffer through the keyboard. You see it sends hello world packet. It'll take up to 80 characters. So I'll actually I'll generate 80 characters. And we'll see when she automatically will send it. Right, right there. Now we could put in less than 80 characters and it will just send that. So every time we type something, it will send that text out the lower module. Okay, next, I'm going to demonstrate redirection in fourth. It's a pretty powerful construct. So at the OK prompt, if I type 65 emit, now 65 is ASCII for capital A, so if I hit enter, it gives me a capital A, so it sends a capital A to the screen. If I go 97 emit, that's a lowercase a, and also sends it to the screen. So now emit sends ASCII character codes to the screen. But now if I redirect it, so to LoRa will redirect it to now to the UART, and I go 65 emit, and then come back to the console, if I do that, it will actually send 65 emit. It will send a capital A out the lower module. I'll do it again. So you see, every time I do it, 
So that's a pretty powerful construct, how we could redirect words that usually are sent to the screen. We could actually send it out any of the UARTs on the microcontroller. Okay, so that was my little tutorial on how to set up a project using the SCAMP2 board. Now at the OK prompt, if you type words, you'll see all the words in the dictionary. These words will help you program. And if you look in the documentation, you can see what each word does. And you could test each word independently because it's interactive. And you can see what each word does. So if you want to go wireless, you consider the SCAMP2 board and the LoRa radio module.